Ben Brown, Christopher Morrell, and a Cubs win. Let's talk about it You now. are Locked On Cubs, your daily Chicago Cubs podcast. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. You are Locked On Cubs, part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Alongside Sam Olber, I'm Matt Cozy. Sam and I are lifelong fans, taking our passion into a discussion with you on all things Cubs. Thank you for being part of the show and making Locked On Cubs your first listen today. And the best way you can help us grow the show is to listen every day, like the video, and comment anything below. One day after a bad loss, courtesy of a bullpen meltdown, the Cubs were able to have a response and defeat the Padres 5-1 to one on Tuesday to even up the series. Ben Brown pitched four and two-thirds scoreless innings, and Christopher Morrell hit a grand slam en route to victory for the Northsiders. Sam, a lot of good to get to following this Cubs win, uh, the late-night version. Yeah, really nice bounce-back win today. Uh you know, unexpectedly, you know, from my perspective, I, I had concerns about this game. And I thought Ben Brown, like you said, I mean, the two headliners of today are Ben Brown and Christopher Morrell. Uh, but for me, as kind of a nerd and, and, a, and a future looker, the, the, the two headlines for me personally were Yancy Almonte coming in a semi-high leverage spot, throwing a nice clean inning. And then your closer, Adbert Ozile. Uh, you know, throwing a nice cleaning in the ninth, get those guys some confidence and, and, and move forward because, you know, I, I look at Almonte differently. I think than most people, I don't look at him in the same tier as Quas. This is somebody that's had a couple really good years in the major leagues. And, and, and I look at him kind of like, I, I, I see his role on this team kind of like what Fulmer's role the second half of last season was Matt. Remember when Fulmer kind of went into that middle relief role? Yes. Um, where it was kind of high leverage, but it was early innings. And then mm -hmm. Fulmer was really an underrated injury in September. Remember, we lost him. Right. I, I actually should look. I don't even know where he's at this year. I didn't even look. Maybe he's still hurt or whatever. Um, if you if, comment in the chat, if you know, Tigers or uh, Tigers yeah. or Twins, I think. Yeah. Um, Minor league deal. But uh, it was a it was a very nice very, very nice to see those guys get back on track and and have good outings and then you know the big swing of the bat we talk about it all the time when you have a chance to bury a team especially a decent team like the Padres you got to do it bases loaded nobody out huge swing of the bat grand slam and uh, this offense right now is is at a uh, at a level Red Sox uh, looks like for Fulmer um, this offense Matt they've they've played eleven games. So far this season, they're seven and four. They've scored five or more runs in eight of the 11 games. Um, they've scored mm -hmm. five or more runs in eight of their last nine games, period. Um, it's It's been really nice to watch those guys. And it's not, you know, we talked about it a couple of days ago. It's not one guy. It's, you know, Morrell got off to a flaming start the first series. Now he has the big hit today. Suzuki's been pretty steady. Bellinger's chipped in. Swanson's chipped in. Uh, Gomes today with a big home run. Hap's been really steady throughout the season, so it's uh, it's really nice to watch these guys work. and And I'm excited to see as they, you know, play a, a face Dylan Cease tomorrow, and then I think they'll face like Luis Castillo and stuff this weekend as they face these bigger stuff guys. I'm excited to watch them work because they are, uh, you know, they're, they're doing a really nice job. Yeah, for that, I think pitch count is always a good clue. And uh, maybe on the off day on Thursday, I do some digging on that because I have to imagine the Cubs are in the top five or higher uh, for opposing pitches um, during these first uh, parts of the season. Uh, ben Brown, what is he going to be as the season moves yeah. along? I think it's a, a great question. I have some ideas. I don't think that's or this is the show for it because I don't think we're in that moment yeah. in time. We're in a moment in time that uh, Ben Brown really needs to be a starter. And I didn't even think he would start uh, Tuesday's game. And, and they did have him out there and it proved to be a good decision. And he proved to be very effective. Um, you know, one walk and three hits uh, and recording 14 outs 
um, and just doing it pretty smoothly, quite frankly, mm-hmm. and, and getting swings and misses and uh, pretty efficient with the pitch count himself with 77 pitches. It's exciting to see. And, you know, just a little tease because I can't help myself. But, you know, if everybody is healthy, his repertoire uh, could lend himself in helping where the Cubs are a disaster right, right now. Right. Um, and, you know, you, you, you lend yourself to imagine and think about him even getting critical or final outs. Uh, Drew Smiley was first out of the bullpen. He went an inning and a third. And I, I like the points about Almonte, Sam. I think it's, it is noteworthy. Um, I did not expect him to pitch. Uh, I would go as far as to say that that was a bold move by council, especially given what happened 23 and a half hours earlier. And Almonte showed that he is continuing to, to get it right. You know, he fell out of favor early. Uh, maybe now he's back in a different rung of the ladder, uh, whether that's necessity or performance or both. And right. then lighter looks sharp, and Alzali, uh, yeah. you know, better, better, but uh, you know, not exactly uh, on the edge of my seat with him. Right. Um, talked about the Gomes solo home run, Morel <clears throat> Grand Slam, which was the first of his career, and uh, for good measure, Seiya Suzuki had three more hits. Uh, now hitting 326 on the year. Morell's also hitting 326, uh, half hitting 318. So uh, they score, they have scored in bunches. They have grinded at bats as well. Um, really nice to see Ben Brown. And really, after a, <laughs> a, a potential um, game that, that has so many consequences. Dare I say Tuesday was actually not only a relief, but highly enjoyable. Right. Uh, which was a pleasant surprise. Yeah, I thought the defense uh, was good, good tonight. I thought oh, the, yeah, defense, the defense was good. Yeah. I thought the defense was good. Big play. That was a big play in the first inning, settling Brown down by with that throw by Bellinger. Oh uh, my gosh, he to, threw it like 90 something. To cut down Bogarts. You know, I thought, you know, you make an interesting point with Brown, and and I, I don't want to get into the details of it, but but there is a there is a wider point that you know when you do get guys back, Tyone Steele, it does give you a lot more options with the relievers. You know, um, you know it. it, it I'm not going to get into the details. With well, Assad whether, would go out there. Yeah, whether Assad starts or goes out there, or Brown or whoever it is. Mm-hmm. Um, so you know, it, it's it, it's a work of progress and. You know, I said last night in in the middle of, you know, a few different temper tantrums, they will figure it out. The question is, is just how long is it going to take? But, but, you know, you look around the league and they're not the only ones uh, that that are having these, these bullpen uh, meltdowns. I mean, David Bednar's had some, Josh Hader's had some, uh, there's, there's, there's a few to go around the, the, the bullpen. I, I always tell you the bullpen in baseball are like kickers in football. You feel great about them until you miss. You have one bad outing or two, and it can get really ugly fast. So I think, uh, you know, I, I think it was a it was a very nice win, and uh, you know now you have a chance to kind of really rectify last night's uh, performance by by winning a series, and we're we're going to talk about that. So one final thing on this before we get to the series finale, you know, I after some reflection, I do think the bullpen meltdown on Monday night. Unfortunately, when you present all the evidence, as, as Sam did a fine job of that, he continues to. I think that type of meltdown, unfortunately, uh, was, was I think, bound to happen. Um, there, there's plenty of, of numbers and, and just the eye test as well. That Well, it happened four or five days prior. We were anticipating, yeah. yeah. Um, but we have to move. We have yeah. to move. The games march on. Um, I look forward to each and every game and how this all plays out for, for this 2024 team. I think that might be one of my only points of contention with you or others when y'all are citing 2013 and how it ended because, yeah, I already know that, but we don't know the end of the story for this team. 2023, right? Um, these bullpen issues could end up being a footnote. Now, it doesn't seem like that exactly. It seems like it will be more survival than not 
until Steele is back and then Merriweather. Um, but it could be, and, and we don't know. Um, so I'm, I'm trying to choose positivity when, when there, there is some, some clear issues going on. Well, let me, let me click. Um, oh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Because we, we don't, I, I know how that story ended. I understand the carryover argument, but we're only 6% through the season. But my counterpoint to you is, is how are you supposed to react when you blow an eight-run lead? It doesn't matter what point of the season it is. Right. It doesn't matter if there's a carryover. It doesn't matter. Like, I thought our reaction yesterday was appropriate. It's over now. The Cubs won, right. and we move forward. Yeah, I mean, I and I think it's more of a uh... – Exactly. Yeah. That's you what know, I'm saying. Yeah. It's, you know, it, it, they could have, they could have done anything but win the world series last year. They could have made the world series. They could have lost a hundred games, no matter what, when you are up eight, nothing in the sixth inning and you lose, and then you have to do a show 10 minutes after that, it's not going to be all right. Well, it's one one sixty two. Let's keep it going guys. Yeah. But at the end of the day, it is right. And they all melted down in one game. Right. You know, imagine if it carried through multiple games. Sure. That would be bad. Um, And sure enough, the Cubs, I think to some of our surprise, immediately uh, back in the win column. So that was was good to see. All right, Kyle Hendricks with an opportunity to turn uh, some of his outings around so far and uh, win a series. Let's talk about it. Today's episode is brought to you by Prize Picks, America's number one fantasy sports app. It is the easiest and most exciting way to get in on the action while you watch your favorite sports and players pick more or less on two or more player stats and then watch the winnings roll in. Baseball season is here, and don't miss your chance to add your favorite players from the diamond in your prize picks entries, whether it's strikeouts, RBIs, or first inning runs. Take your pick. Of more or less, and that add them to your prize picks entry. Prize picks is really simple to play with your entries taking less than 60 seconds to submit, turning $10 into $1,000 with just a few taps of your screen. Download the prize picks app today and use code locked on MLB for a first deposit match up to $100. That's a first deposit match up to $100 by using code locked on MLB. Pick more, pick less. It's that easy with prize picks because. Number one, fantasy sports app. All right, we're recording here live, 1219 a.m. Central Standard Time. Dedication to the game. And we'll do another one of these on Wednesday night as the Cubs play the Padres at 540 p.m. Thank goodness. On Wednesday, and you can hear every pitch of the Cubs hometown broadcast on Sirius XM by searching Cubs on the SXM app. Kyle Hendricks struggled in both of his starts so far this campaign, and now he takes the ball uh, with the Cubs in position to win another series following a brutal defeat two days earlier. Cubs don't have much experience against Cease, who has had a strong debut with the Padres after uh, being traded in spring training, a rare spring training trade. And uh, he has struck out 13 batters and allowed only four runs in 10 and two thirds. I know we've talked about Cease on the show before, and uh, he's somebody who very easily gets into these long innings and he labors and he throws a lot of pitches and the Cubs are already doing that. Mm -hmm. So I'm starting to warm up to this matchup despite Hendrick's struggles. Yeah, I think it's a really important start for Hendricks. Um, you know, it's I obviously think so. it's obviously only start three, but just the the rhetoric around him from the fan base, not that he's paying any attention to that. You know, people are are, are really down on him and, yeah. and and he can use a good start. This is this is a good lineup, but it's it's this is a lineup that he should be able to handle. It's not it's not Texas, it's not the Dodgers. Yeah, what have you um, thought about this lineup so far? They're good. I mean, they're 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 a mistake hitting group mainly. You know, you just can't make mistakes to That's Tatis. A great description. Yeah, you, you can't make mistakes to Tatis. You can't make mistakes to Machado. I, I mean, I like their lineup, and then they got some grinders, Cronenworth yeah. and and Kim. But it's nothing like what we're coming off of seeing. 
Um, right. You know, so, you know, he should be able to work these guys. I actually have, you know, he, he's pretty much handled everybody in that lineup. Okay. Outside of Machado's gotten them. Um, okay. But, uh, you know, he's handled Tatis in his career. He's handled a lot of these guys. So he needs to pitch well. Uh, it'd be nice, you know, even if, like you said, if the Cubs could work counts, but it'd be, it'd be nice to see them, you know, find a way to grind out like a 3-2, three, 4-3 four, three type of win. Uh, they haven't really had any of those yet. Um, Cease right. is interesting. You know, I, I got to be honest, you know, White Sox Cease, I, I know very well. I have not watched him with any, any of his Padres outings, not that it's been a ton of them. So, you know, I, you know, we, we know what we're going to see, but you, like you said, you know, try and make him work. Even if he throws four or five shutout innings and it takes him 80, 90 pitches, it's not mm-hmm. the worst thing in the world. And yeah, you know, my guess is the, the, the line will probably be San Diego, like minus minus one forty something like that, which is basically what the, these first two lines have been. So same, same type of, same type of game, same type of execution might be a, 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 a Mastro day tomorrow. All right, that's something uh, to keep an eye on. Yeah, you know, play him at third and, and then D.H. Burrell right on left. I, I, I don't know yeah. if he's his splits, but just, you know, kind of a guy that, that can handle velocity and stuff well. I like it. Uh, but, yeah, we'll see. I think I think they're going to be all right. Speaking of Mastro, him and Garrett Cooper might soon be swapped out for uh, Patrick Wisdom, who is rehabbing at AAA Iowa. We're going to finish out. This episode, talking about a possible return uh, from Wisdom. Stay tuned. Today's episode is brought to you by eBay Motors. Passion, drive, and patience. What brings home the winning trophy is also what keeps your car alive. eBay Motors is everything you need to maintain your vehicle and level it up to peak performance from superchargers, roof racks, exhaust kits, LED headlights, and more. Whether you're into speed, power, or style, eBay Motors has got you covered with over 122 million parts for your number one car. You always find exactly what you're looking for. And with eBay Guaranteed Fit, your part is guaranteed to fit your ride every time or your money back. Because with eBay Motors, you're burning rubber, not cash. With all the parts you need at the prices you want, it's easy to turn your car into the MVP and bring home that win. Keep your car alive at ebaymotors.com. Eligible items only. Exclusions apply eBay guaranteed fit only available to U.S. customers. I do have a couple of notes I want to share after we talk a little bit about wisdom. What about the broadcast so far, Sam? And if you yeah. want to get in on that, yeah. and then one announcing my departure from X uh, potentially because people can't read. Okay, Patrick Wisdom uh, was what two happened? for four. Well, people can't read on Twitter. I've noticed that with your tweets lately. Yeah. I tweeted on, on Tuesday morning. People think I'm talking about the Cubs when I'm talking about other teams. And uh, if people can't read or write, I'm not going to participate. <laughs> I'll keep doing the show. You guys could have all your chats and convos digitally. Uh, I'm going to be here in real life. Uh, we don't need it. We don't need it. We could just stay here on YouTube, on Apple, Spotify, Sirius, iHeart. Um, but if you're not going to read properly, then I'm not going to tweet. <laughs> and if I'm not going to tweet, then I don't need to be on the platform, player. <laughs> okay, so that's that's that note. So I already did that one. And yeah. uh, I guess since I'm fired up, let me just say this. Mm-hmm. I am not listening to Boog and JD right now. <laughs> okay. Okay, I love my setup right now. I, I want to share this. I'm syncing my Sirius XM app on my phone with mm-hmm. my marquee app on my TV. Uh, Sirius XM had a big delay last season, but it has been cleared up and then some. And so with one click of a pause button for about 15, 20 seconds, I have the radio call exact with what I'm watching, like pop of the glove on the on the the radio mic and that's what i see on my screen it's incredible and i just wanted to point that out um that's great because you're not really missing much um okay. well but, you've been texting me a couple updates and it's like well that confirms my decision uh i want to give a shout out to 430 listeners here at 12 26 it's, it's the overnight hours yeah it's literally <laughs> Literally, it's overnight right now. It was really kind of crazy. Um, I and, and shout out to – I had a good uh, television experience today. I finally got the marquee app working on my phone. Um, All right. Well, that's the episode. So, uh, well, we didn't talk oh, about okay. wisdom. Oh. 
Uh, but yeah, you know, it's just good because that's going to help my my watch alongs on Saturdays. <clears throat> yes, it will. Look, I'll just say this, I, and I don't want to I don't want to make this a long thing because I've already finished my night routine and I'd like to go to sleep. Um, uh. <laughs> I, I I think it would be a mistake to send down Garrett Cooper for Patrick Wisdom. I'd like really? to see Garrett. We're the yes. same player. Uh, you know what? I, 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 I'm going to, I'm going to clap back. At There's a, a redundancy bit. there. No, uh, I don't, well, no, because there, I'm going to redund- get really goofy with these drops. If we don't end the show. There's a redu- there's a redundancy in in their strengths hitting lefties, but they're different hitters. Um, right. Y- you know, so I know I I would like to see him. I'd like to see Cooper stay on the team, and maybe you know maybe wisdom doesn't have to come up. We'll see that. So. Right. Yeah, you know I think wisdom has his first few rehab games have been nice. Um. And I, I, I just wonder what the plan for him is moving forward. You know, is he down there as many as 10 games? You know, does he return this weekend? Is he returning at all, at least right now? Because wisdom can be optioned to the minor leagues. Um, but I, I really think the only two candidates are Mastro and Cooper. I could see maybe a short stint where they would try wisdom and Cooper, but um, I, I really think they're 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 really the same. And and Mastro, meanwhile, offers speed. He offers defensive versatility. Uh, so so we'll see what happens with that. Well, we maybe, will be maybe they could maybe they could uh, uh, just go a reliever short and let Quasco. <laughs> well, they should let Quasco. To be real, um, and he doesn't need to be let go. He has options. Yeah, you know what I mean. Why don't they option him? And bring up a fresh arm. Give us a call, 312. It's confusing, uh, especially with the way the bullpen's been used. They need arms. Uh, we're amazingly going to be live once again after Wednesday's game against the Padres. A little let's, more, uh, let's plan uh, for 9 Central and see what happens. What time is that okay. game? Five, it's 540. Five, five. Yeah, i actually going to miss the first couple innings of that tilt. Go Cubs. Congratulations. So uh, nine central about, um, you know, give or take. Right. And uh, hopefully back after a Cubs win and uh, them winning this uh, ridiculous series. Thank you so much for checking out this edition of Locked On Cubs. You give us 20 to 30 minutes. We'll give you all things Cubs with a laugh or two along the way. Be sure to hit subscribe on YouTube. Smash the like button for the algorithm and leave a five star review on apple spotify and everywhere you get your podcast saw a really nice review on apple roll in on tuesday sam make sure you check it out before you go to sleep and i would encourage you if you haven't yet and you're an apple audio peep to do that uh some point uh soon he's sam olber i'm matt cozy this is locked on cubs go cubs